Hello, hello, and welcome back, everybody. All right, so for this round, we're going to go with a different build. We're actually using Yakimo's blood code, so same power he uses, where we do a lot of damage and we're extremely tanky, pretty much. And our gifts don't really do a lot of damage except for the one that takes up all of our Ivor. So, yeah, and here we go. Honestly, game feels a little different now that I don't have Mito to hate. I'm pressing all the wrong buttons. I was testing a lot of stuff with the game before to try to figure out what all the buttons were. And yeah, this is the attack I can use to launch people, but it'll only actually launch them if I'm focused. I can also do this, which I had forgotten about. So, I've remembered some stuff from before. Also, parrying is a thing. Place to fight. I pressed the wrong button. I don't. I'm pressing a lot of the wrong buttons for. You underest. What do you mean? What did I do back there that impressed you? Okay. This was a bad idea. Very cool, but not the best idea. I missed you. For a second there, I thought Eve wasn't going to hit her once, and she was going to get up and hit me with my zero stamina left. Alright, map. That's right, this way is actually a dead end. Last time I thought there was a way to go forward that way, but there is not. So. Let's go this way. Also, I went to a new depth thing and I picked up a shard, so I'll have to see if I can unlock a new Watch memory for edge. Davis. Do you think there's something we can use here? Ah, uh, wrong button again. I really. I keep pressing the R1 button like that's an attack, but this isn't Elden Ring. That's not an attack. Not a lot of freedom here. Okay, maybe I can actually get the backstab over here. I'm going in. Shh, eat quiet. There we go. Well, if my character had chosen to face the enemy with that attack, it would have done exactly what I wanted. Alright. Let's try not to attract attention while we're here. Yeah, last time I walked over there all willy-nilly, I got collapsed on by like five of them. Maybe just four. This is a dangerous place to fight. I love those donkeys. I hope we find more things we can use. Keep it up. Oh, is that? Ooh. One of my favorite items in the game. Thing that lets me upgrade my weapons to their final form. By the way, for anyone wondering, yes, this is Mido's sword. I like it. Eh. 
Alright, did I miss anything? I don't think so. Let us continue. Is there more than that? Yep, there is. This cliff is also rude. Where's Eva going? Is there an enemy around that corner? What the heck? I didn't know they could do that. Get him, Fido. The enemies in this area just drop that stuff. That's good to know because that's the stuff I need in order to... I think I said this before, but equip, the max level of equipment in this game is 10. So if they're dropping that stuff for me, that's good. I can max my equipment out before I fight the final boss, probably. And I, I do think she... Sil, Silva, sorry, is the final boss. And all of a sudden I miss Mito. He was so fun to hate. Looks tough. Let's be careful. There it is. Is there a chance we could sneak through the side? There are three on my map. I'll just finish these guys off quickly. I'm gonna let her walk away from the wall a little bit. And then eat her! Hmm. I hope we find more things we can use. How do I get that item? You have to go around, I think. Ah! Shortcut! It's just a bit farther. This better be good, right? Ivory Grace, plus nine. Fancy. Is my cloak stuck in my waist? There we go. I guess this was made to keep people out. This shortcut feels a lot more direct as opposed to the, my other ones where I had to go around half the world. But it was still short, technically. Ah, the Blood Cone's name is Atlas. Have I not used this one before? Maybe I did, but at the time I would have had so few I couldn't unlock all the gifts for it. She was trying to buff herself. I didn't realize there was going to be an explosion. That went about as well as I'd expected. Really? I expected it to go a lot better than that, but I was kind of lazy and just ran at her instead of actually backstabbing. So. Is there a monkey that dropped behind me as well? Oh, come on. Nope, just the one dropping in front of me. That's. Are they trying to warn me that there are monkeys? Not what I wanted to do, but certainly got the job done. Whichever way we choose, I bet the lost will be waiting. Hmm. 
Okay, so I, there are items above that I needed to get, and hopefully I can get them by going around here. I say needed to get, but kinda... I need to get them. I do not need to get them to progress forward, I need to get them for my sanity. Lots of places to hide, huh? Yeah. Good things the guys hiding stick out like sore thumbs. Observant. Sometimes, I've discovered, the items will literally be inside of these boxes, so you have to break them all. What happens if I just do this? to do that for a while. Alright. Keep looking for a way around so I can go get those items up the cliff I saw earlier. I didn't think it, that animation would take that long. There we go. What's Eve doing down there? Winning, it seems. I tried to drop down an attack, but once again, I pressed the Elden Ring attack button, not the Code Vein attack button. I don't know why I'm doing that so much today. Probably because I've discovered all these weird things that can be... I am thoroughly lost. I do not know how many directions I have even passed by. So, I could end up doing a bit of backtracking. It's nice to have an area that's complicated enough that I can actually lose track of where I'm going. Let's do it. Right. Oh, you have ranged attacks. Darn. I thought they were going to come into my swirling death there. Well, let's move on. Really, what I should have done, but oh well. I almost missed that. Eve. All right. So this is an area I can drop into from somewhere else, I guess. Let's keep going. There.
Alright. Whew! The camera did something on me there, and I just about walked off that cliff. Alright. So yeah, apparently I learned from the hints they give me in the on the loading screens and whatnot. This is the provisional government. They were keeping a bunch of lost imprisoned here, and the lost didn't stay imprisoned when when Silva almost frenzied. So now they're going around and killing everything. I don't know where the friendly people are. Hopefully they're not all dead. What can I say? If the last of mankind had been wiped out in this incident, I would be saddened by that. Because apparently they were supposed to be here. That's just an item that dropped from an enemy dying there. Good to know. Whatever it is, it is expendable. We finally made it, huh? We made it? Oh my, boss room. All right. There's definitely an area I haven't investigated thoroughly through here yet, so we're gonna go back there real Something quick. Bothering you? Yes, we're missing stuff. We're missing a red shiny, and that just won't stand. And of course I just rested at the missile, so all of the enemies in this area are back. Good for Haze! Now where, oh where, is the area I haven't explored yet? It should be pretty obvious. I'm so glad that the map records my footsteps. Aw, I thought I could just walk around that. Just die, would you? Alright, have I gone down there? Footsteps say yes. <sighs> Guys! I'm going in. Was it right there the whole time? This thing formed out of the corpse of the last guy, didn't it? I'm an idiot. I'm a fool. I... Did I ever get the red shiny that I saw before? Can anyone... No, I don't think I ever got that red shiny. I still need it, right? Alright, that's where red shiny was, I think. Which means I already went up there, yes? Yeah, I already got it. I don't know why I didn't remember whatsoever, but... Alright, moving forward. In fact, let's use a shortcut. Someone was coming up behind me, but it does not matter. Wait, I think I know this place. Yeah, I've been here before. This is where I was in Lazarus' memories. Cool. All right, and because I really have no idea what I'm going to be facing or what the story's going to be like or even how far I have till the end, 
I'm going to go back here real quick. I'm going to go and talk to Io, and I'm going to see if I can reforge any of the memories I've been picking up. What is it? So I'm missing that part, at least. Should I just restore these as they are, or should I wait till I can do them in order? I'm really not sure. Well, let's restore this one, at least. But I'll just go through and restore all of them, see what happens. See how many of these stores I actually remember. Allow me to take you to the successor. And so, with those words, I was taken to a facility. There I saw other attendants, lying in beds. All of them connected to machines. It appears to be a laboratory of some kind. However, no matter how desperately I search, I cannot find my successor anywhere. Still, I can feel it. It feels like my successor is so close. A man named Mido, in the pursuit of his research, Performed experiments on the other attendants and turned them all to ash. Hmm. Even now, I can still feel my successors somewhere nearby. I have to keep searching for them. It is hard for me to move, but I must. I have a duty to ease the suffering of my successor. I must fulfill my duty. Where did the attendants come from, though? Why are they all lookalikes? Is it bad that Mito is killing them? Like, are they rare? I mean, obviously it's bad that Mito is killing them, but is it, like, disaster bad? Or is it, like, evil bad? Completely heedless of oneself or others, wandering lost and directionless, hoping only for the safety and well-being of their successor. I was the same way. Even when another attendant attacked and came close to frenzy right before my eyes, even then, I could not break my focus. But I wonder, is that really how it should be? Am I going to have to put... Okay, I don't have to give input here. Good, good. I think the only proper input in that scenario is to give Io a hug. What is it? Alright. This one. Myself fall here in this place. I must, I must find my successor. I must defend my successor. I have to go on. His poor attendants. Why are they like this? Where did they come from? Who made them? Why are they so obsessed with the successor? Are they originally human? Are they clones? I suppose many attendants must have met the same fate. Struggling to be with their successors, but turned to ash without ever meeting them. And it could have been the same for me. If I had made one mistake, I would have been doomed as well. The attendants, they could only live in accordance with their mission. It's possible they might have been able to survive, 
if they had only chosen another way. Well, can they choose? Because they seem to have a single-minded determination. So, like, how much free will do they have? What is it? Gymnastics. Wait, wait. You're Murasame the gymnast? Huh. Well, I guess that does explain it. We're signing you to Team 2 for the time being. But war isn't a sport. Keep that in mind. Sir! Sir! Set yet another record for lost killed, Murasame. I hear some of the others have even started calling you Yasha. I do what I can. Well, we all hope you keep it up. Hmm. Good news! You're being promoted. We want you in charge of our scouts. Are you sure? Absolutely. They're a hand-picked group of elite veterans. They won't listen to anyone they don't respect. Even they have to acknowledge your skills. Just make sure you maintain their trust. Hmm. Is command where things went wrong? I'm over here wondering where things went wrong, but not saying anything out loud, which is a mistake. I, I've discovered I have a tendency, especially during boss fights and stuff, to just not speak my mind, which isn't good for recordings. But yeah, I'm, I'm trying to get better at just saying what I'm thinking. After I woke up as a revenant, I was completely absorbed with following my orders, and those orders told me to fight. It was the only way I knew for escaping the despair I saw around me each day. But now, well, I'm not even good enough to fight. Uh -huh. It's possible that there's something I can learn from my old memories. To be honest, a part of me doesn't want to remember what I was like back then. The thought scares me. At the same time, though, I feel like it's important for me to remember. Back then, I didn't worry much about getting turned into ash. To be honest, I might have been a bit self-destructive. Anyway, regardless of whether it's earned or not, Yaksha is a heck of a thing for someone to call a sweet young woman. I'm not entirely sure, but my understanding is that it's some sort of fighting devil. Hmm. Did they have to be so rude? I am curious to see more of those memories. What is it? But I don't even know where they're scattered about. There has to be another area I haven't been to yet, right? For... For all of these remaining vestiges that I haven't been able to finish. Greetings! Greetings. My, name My name is Rin, Rin Murasame, Murasame, and I will be your new captain. captain. It's a pleasure to meet all of you. No kidding. No kidding. So, you're so you're the maniac, the maniac they, call they call Yaksha. Yaksha. How, old How old are you anyway? Sixteen. You're, you're still just, just a, kid. a kid. Is this Is a this practical, practical joke? joke? They're all gonna die. They are all going to die. Or is going to get them all killed and that's going to be her horrific scarring. I bet. Hey, hey you. you! Who said you said you sit down? Yeah. We're not on not break, break here. here. You don't need to yell. If the training is too much for you, you'll be useless to us in the field. Don't forget that. Whoa, watch, watch out. out. We got a fire-breathing fire captain, captain here.
I was desperate to succeed. I had been tasked with leading the elite and maintaining their trust. Force was the only way I knew to earn their respect. Hmm. No. You too now? <laughs> anyway, if you happen to track down any more of my memories, could you let me know? Uh, if it's not too much trouble for you, I mean. I would really appreciate your help. Oh, don't worry. I'm curious too. If I know where they are, I'll go look for them. Hey, is that all? What is it? Bagged another, Bagged another one. We're running into more than now. The queen's got to be close. Captain, we found the queen. Good. We need to contact HQ right away. Captain, I really don't think we have time for that. What do you mean? The lost have us completely surrounded. I guess the best thing you could do is make a break, is try to break through the line towards your base. Ah, poor Murasame. She lost all of her men and somehow got out alive. troops by the minute. Seeing them fall made me freeze. I, I couldn't lead. Each scream sent a new bolt of fear through me until it turned into panic. By the time I eventually came to my senses, I was all alone. I couldn't see any sign of either my squad or the lost. I think I must have run away from the battle in my panic left everyone in my squad behind to their fates. She also needs hug. Yeah, it was too much. I'm afraid if things get too hot, I'll take off and abandon my comrades again. Thanks. It feels better to know why I feel the way I do. It seems that my current post is just right for me. Plus, I don't have to worry about ditching everyone on the battlefield again, which is something of a relief. Um... I disagree. Like... Murasame, you're a kid. It, placing a kid in command is always gonna... What is it? Ah... Uh, Hey, hey, what'd you do to the captain? I knocked her out. Just look at her. She looks oh, hey. We can call her Yaksha or whatever the hell we want, but she's a 16 year old girl. And it's too, it's too early, early for her to, her to die. die. Wait, what are you? Listen, Listen up, up everyone. everyone. I'm assuming, I'm assuming field, field command of this operation, operation as of right, right now. now. And we are getting, we are getting the, captain the captain out of, out of here. here. Understood? Understood? Oh. Well, 
I guess that's, that's in order. order. All, right. All right, are you ready, are you ready squad? squad? Sir, sir. We'll, all we'll all create a, create a diversion, a diversion together, together and then and break, break through their, through their defensive, defensive line. line. Are you ready? Are you ready? Sir! sir. She didn't run away. This should be far enough. The captain is gonna be okay. Don't give him any ground! Fight to the last! Take as many as you can! And protect your freaking hearts! You know, the one weak spot? She's gonna be real mad when she finally wakes up. But it doesn't matter if you're our commander, or as fierce as a demon on the battlefield. No matter how strong you are, or how strict, we still think of you as a daughter. So be good, and stay alive for us. changes things. allowed me to finally take a good look at my past. I can't cower anymore. <laughs> I'm not sure I'll ever fight on the front lines again, but at least I won't be hiding away like I did before. I have to do my best for you and Louie and all the others who did their best for me. I have to honor their sacrifices and their memories. I've been wondering how old the Revenants are now. Because, you know, I assume that the aging stuff stops when they become revenants. So I wonder how long we've been going on like this since the Queen. What is it? Or maybe I'm just completely wrong and we are aging normally and it's been like a month. Alright, I really hope I get the rest of those at some you point. Going now? Because Take care. I am fascinated and invested again. Also, not gonna lie, I kind of want to take Murasame with me and go out here, because I think that would be proof that I'm getting some stuff done. But, oh well, either way, they seem to be making it clear that's not gonna happen. Alright, yep, we go this way. It's awfully gloomy here too. I'm going in. I didn't see him until just now. Ah, I was wondering why I wasn't attacking. I was out of stamina. That would do it. my abilities do again? Most of them are buffs, but I'm trying I'll to remember. An eye on our surroundings. Enemy attacks, power of next attack, temporalize a shockwave effect to strike that deals additional damage, communal gift. Your 
were awfully attentive. All right. I wanted to hit him. Queen's Knight Reborn. Interesting. You had a second form, didn't you? Right? Ah, oh, I remember that attack. I had a little Icor. There we go. And that's why. Ooh. Fancy guy. Glad I was tough enough to tank most of his shenanigans. Because I definitely wasn't fast enough to dodge all of his shenanigans. Wait a moment. Aya? That lost left a vestige behind. It did? There is something somehow familiar about it. I would like to know what memories it contains. Okay! Would you show them to me? Is the knight the attendant of the queen? I know that there is a monster growing inside of me. Still, if, if you 
can help me atone for my sin. Please, help those who are suffering. If you can ease their burden, even if it's only a little. So the attendants were created by the Queen. From the vestiges of the fallen revenants who she slaughtered? Well, that answers a lot of questions. And of course, Mito's first. <laughs> of course, Mito decided to experiment on them immediately. So, that gives me some explanation. Her desire to comfort and support the afflicted, mixed with the despair she felt over her own situation. It was Cruz's vestige that had created the attendance of the relics. She was afraid the same mistake would occur again. That's why we can only remain by their sides. We are incomplete. Cruz's existence was one long, constant struggle. She fought until the very end against the monster inside her, desperate to save revenants from their thirst. I want to deliver salvation, not just consolation. I want to bring about all of the wishes Cruz had for her people. The wishes of the attendants, of my sisters, I want to be the one who finally makes them a reality. What kind of conclusion do you think we're going towards? I know that this is not part of my duty, but even so, it is something I need. Something my heart cries out for. So, if it isn't too much to ask, please. Alright guys, I think I'm going to call this one here. Well, that explains a lot of the questions I've been having. Looks like there's another area, judging by the number of vestiges I haven't completed yet. There's maybe one or two more with Silva at the end. Or maybe this path will take me directly to Silva and that'll start the final boss. And who knows, guess we'll see next time. I'm really enjoying the game so far, it's been a long trip, but I think the story's been fascinating personally. Alright. If you guys like the video, do me a favor and leave a like, and I hope to see you all in the next one. Okay, stop recording.